Hello and welcome to today's video. We will be talking about validation in the serverless framework and I will show you the best way to validate your incoming requests using the MIDI middleware and Joy library. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Before the lesson, I updated the code from our previous lesson. I added two new directories, one called utils and another one called functions. The reason for this is that the handler.js file we had wasn't perfect, to be honest. It's not the best practice to keep all your Lambda code in a single file. I decided to split each Lambda into separate files, which are now located in the functions directory. The utils directory contains a file called error handler, where are placed the logic for handling errors and another file called validator.js, which is empty so far. Let's leave these files for now, we will come back to them in the minute. One last part I changed since the last lesson is the serverless.yaml file. Since I've moved the Lambda code into new files, I had to change the handler path for each function. As you can see, the paths now point to the functions directory. Ok, those are all changes. There weren't many. The objective of today's lesson is to validate requests. When working with the serverless framework, we have two approaches. We can use the API gateway validation and write rules in the serverless.yaml file, or we can use additional libraries. I don't recommend using the API gateway validation, as it's suited only for simple cases, makes the YAML file more complex and incurs additional costs. We will use the second approach, incorporating the MIDI library, a fantastic tool that adds middleware functionality similar to Express.js to AWS Lambda functions. We will also use the Joy library to set expectations and validate the data. Now that we know what we will be doing, let's start by installing the libraries. Please type npm install midi space joy. After successful installation, let's move to the validator.js. Here we'll add middleware for validating the request's body. Let's call it body validator. This function will take a joy schema as an input, which is an object that defines the expected structure and can validate the data. Middleware in midi can be triggered in three cases, before the wrapped function, after the function or in case of an error. When defining the middleware, we have to return an object defining the specific phase. For validation use case, we want to invoke the middleware before the function. We need to use the before keyword. The before function has access to the handler method and the next function, which calls the next middleware in the chain. The implementation of the validator is simple. Firstly, if the handler has no body, we can throw an error. Then, Let's parse the body and use the schemas validate method to check if the data is correct. I'm also using the abort early flag set to false, allowing me gather all errors. Next, check if any error exists. If there are errors, we'll throw them, preventing the handler from being invoked. If there are no errors, we will call the next function and proceed to the next middleware in the chain, or to the handler if there are no other middlewares. Now, let's open the addNode.js file. We will validate if the incoming request contains the proper node text. First, let's import the required libraries, MIDI and Joy. Also, let's import the body validator middleware and the error handler from the utils folder. We define the schema for request body using the Joy object method. In this method, we create the structure of desired input. In our case, the object must contain the key node text. The value for that key will be any validator we want to use. Let's make Joy check if the value is a string and make it required. Great, that's it. Our body is simple, so the schema is as well. Let's assign the value to the variable called node schema. The last part of the puzzle is to actually put it into practice. To do so, we have to wrap the handler function with the MIDI function. Then we can call the use method on that. We want to use the body validator and pass the node schema to it. That's it. This will validate the incoming request. But I also imported the error handler, do you remember? Why did I do that? Now it's time to look into error handler file. The error handler is a MIDI middleware that features the on error phase. It checks the type of handler error. If it's a validation error, it returns a 400 status and a validation message. Otherwise, it returns 500 status. Thanks to that, we can get rid of the try catch clause in the add node handler. All we have to do is add another use method and pass the error handler to it. Now, 
If there are any errors, they will be nicely handled by this middleware. That's it. There is nothing left but testing. First, let's deploy the functions using the SLS deploy command. Great, the API is ready. Let's try to send a POST request with an empty body. Yes, the validation works. We cannot create a new node and we get an error response. Perfect. So, that's it for today. We have learned how to validate requests body using the MIDI library. But that's not at all. You can easily use MIDI and Joy to validate path parameters or query parameters as well. Just spend some time experimenting with these libraries. In the next tutorial, I will finally show you how to add users using AWS Cognito. So stay tuned. Meanwhile, thank you for the watching and see you next time.